Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on the topic of rendering videos with transparency. So all of us kind of know more or less about rendering images with transparency. So you render out an image and you know once you export it, it has an alpha channel, right? But can you actually do that with a video? And the answer is yes. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's not hard at all. So obviously you probably have a scene that you want to render out. So just so you guys notice, if you do have an object in the Blender 3D viewport and you press Z and you go rendered, and by the way, I am in cycles, um, you need to go over to your render properties. At the moment, I can actually see my environment here, but if you don't wanna see that and you want an alpha transparency, you need to go down to your film option and then there's an option for transparent and you're just gonna click on that. And I see all these little gray grid of little squares and that lets you know that there is now a transparent background. So now you can just like anything else, you can go over to your output. Then you're gonna to go to your output location. This is just where you wanna render it out to. I'm gonna select my desktop. And then you're gonna to go to your file format. Now by default, it is set to PNG, but if you go, you can go here to FFmpeg video and then you can go over to your encoding. And then you're gonna see something here called a container. You can change this to QuickTime, that's really important. And on top of that, you also need to go down to your video codec, click on here, and then you wanna come here to QTRLE slash QT animation. And clicking on that with QuickTime as well, it's now gonna enable us to render this out with that alpha transparency. So now if you go render and you go render animation, it's now gonna start rendering out your video as a transparent video. So you can kind of layer it over something else and it has kind of like an alpha transparency. Um, yeah, so I hope that has been useful, but I'm just gonna stop this render here anyway because on the end of the day, I was just kind of showing you guys how to do um, rendering out a video with transparency. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching.